Speaking here with uh, Mr. Robert Seelig, who is the president of the Catholic Funeral and Cemetery Services, a nonprofit focusing on keeping Catholic cemeteries financially sustainable. Mr. Seelig, I see recently you created a, a group or a ministry, I guess, called Shepherd's Hour of Need. Could you explain that? Yeah. So first thing when the, the pandemic hit was to make sure employees were safe, that we came up with protocol for visiting the cemetery, that families were safe, even if they met with our staff, right? But what we also realized was that there needed to be a resource network for bishops and staff and, and diocese. So we created a website uh, called shepherdshourofneed.com, and it was really just to place some information for bishops and priests and even ideas on what a, an appropriate homily during that time might look like, right? And we actually started collecting stories uh, from the field to share those because we felt like, hey, we're now moving into this virtual world. So we did that as like our first step, and we continued to populate it with additional information. And one of the, the, the steps we thought for bishops was just giving suggestions of how we're bridging the gaps, right? So we started live streaming masses in a number of the dioceses, the, the funeral masses, for the deceased because the family needed to remain at home or they couldn't travel. So all of a sudden we became a, a virtual church, and, and that's been a challenge for all of us to learn how technology fits into all this when we're so used to the interpersonal connection.